this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I have another estate sale haul unboxing for you. Now, these are items that have I have picked up at a few different estate sales, I think, and by the way I'm organizing things, things kind of get meshed together, so I'm not quite sure exactly which estate sales some things are from. Uh, but if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you'll be notified of when I put out new content. And I also do live sales on YouTube on Saturday nights at 10 o'clock Eastern Time and Wednesdays at 4 o'clock Eastern Time where I will be selling all of the great items that I am unboxing. Um, and don't forget to thumbs up the video and give this a like before you leave. So I am going to dig right in. And this one, I can tell it has some um, vases and some vanity items. Um, so here is one of the vases, beautiful frosted blue with some gold trim. And the same one, and this is like a cranberry color. And this, oh my goodness, look at this. Now this just has my number in it from, because this is from an online estate sale. So they numbered the lots, but look at that. That is like stretch glass. Gorgeous. And then here is another one in... Well, that might be the same kind of blue as the first one. Yeah, I think those kind of match there. And then this one is more of like that, um, that carnival purpley blue, but you can see a lot of the gold is missing from there. So these were used. Um, Somebody did enjoy them. So that is always nice that somebody had items that they enjoyed. Um, now, the rest of these items, I think, are vanity items. So we have a leaded crystal clock here. That's a beauty. Mantle clock, or she used it on her vanity. Here is a, like, trinket box that is wood um, with some inlay. Here is the top, bottom, and then on the inside, it's just very nicely done. Here is some, oh, Yardley English Lavender Soap. Uh, new enough to have a barcode on it, but, um, but that was cute to nothing on the inside, but just cute enough to keep. These are wrapped in bubble. Let's see what we have. Oh, new, unopened. This is Fame. Uh, this is a cologne that is still in its original packaging. And I was trying to see what that top said. Spray, spray something cologne. So there we have that. And another bottle here, Intimate, from Revlon. Now, neither of these have barcodes. I don't think this one does either. Let me double check. Yeah, no barcodes on these. So, um, so they had been saved for quite a while. Oh, and then we have a cute little tray here. Now there's a couple boxes, so this must come in one of those boxes, but here we have some old um, hair rods. Oh my goodness. Put the hair in the little spring and do that up and uh, there you go. And we've got a couple little polishing paste. There we go. And that's all oh, number one and number two. This is the Lust, oh, luster producing powder with the polishing paste. And this, oh, this looks like a little soap. 
And then we've just got a bunch of the rods. Okay. So we'll see if that tray goes in one of the little boxes here. Um, so I have a, um, I'm going to shine it just a bit here because I don't want to blind anybody <laughs> with the light, but it is a mirrored little vanity tray. We have, oh, here's a powder box. This is Oscar de la Renta. And it still does have, I'm trying to see. Well, I wouldn't exactly say the powder moves in here, so I'm not going to open that right now. <laughs> here is a Fabergé nail, nail gloss, glacé kit in pastel. Let's open that. Oh, so we've got the pretty little nail polish in here, and each one fits in see if I can do this so you can see there are little triangles in there that each one of those fits in so pretty darn fancy on that one um, here is another uh, Landvin purse size and let's see what this oh how pretty that is and oh my And, okay. Oh, I see. So we have to unscrew that and then we get to the perfume, which is actually pretty nice. I will say that does have a very nice smell to it. So there is your very fancy purse size perfume. And this was from the Bon Marche, which was eventually around the year 2000 or so purchased by Macy's here. And it was $4. So that is um, definitely from the 90s or newer. Here is a Revlon Finest Professional Buffer. And this was all, this was purchased at Frederick and Nelson. So I have to say, anything that says Frederick and Nelson on it, there's a real good chance I'm going to keep that. But it's just a standard little Revlon buffer. But um, yeah, I am very partial to things that say Frederick and Nelson on them. Oh, look at this pretty one. Uh, Merle Norman Translucent Face Powder made in the USA. And I'll be brave. And yep, it is in there. I remember Merle Norman. That was a fun place to go and try on. Um, oh, here we have Interlude Bath and Body Perfume. So let's see what we have. Oh, here we go. In another very fancy oops am i opening that right nope oh look at that look how beautiful that is and a little bit of paper to keep it in place um oh this is one of the uh lint like a lint roller. This was from Fred Meyer. And this was, that can't be right. Well, I'm not sure what the price was on that one. <laughs> but yes, I remember these. So you've got the brush on one side and the lint roller on the other. So you can make your clothes look nice. And this one does have a barcode on it. So it is new enough for a barcode. Oh, the packaging does look very 80s. Here is, oh, more of the pea shine. And this was back when it was just the bond. I don't remember. I'm trying to remember through all of the transition years of the naming of uh, Bon Marche when they were just known as the Bon. Um, but it does not look like this was ever opened. Oh, here is, look at this. 
This is Remington. Oh, so this must have a ladies shaver in it. Yep. There it is. Recognize that. The old fashioned ladies razor Remington. Oh my goodness. And it does still have the cord and everything in there. I have one of those and I can't remember whose it was in my family because I, I don't think it was mine, but I don't remember exactly whose it was, but uh, those are pretty cool. So I kept those. And then we have some miscellaneous brushes and more hair rollers. Couple more brushes. Here is a, another little vanity tray, and this is a nice, yep, that's wood, wood all the way through. So that's a very nice tray. I'm going to stick that right back there. And another powder puff. This one is pink. And this is, oh, Pons, um, perfumed dusting powder. And the powder is still in there. Oh, my goodness. And then we have all of this. So we've got some great vintage products in here. This is some kind of a spray. Got a hand mirror, some perfume, lipstick holder, no lipstick on the inside, but I always liked those. Here's just a mirror and a compact mirror, pink compact mirror with a hard plastic case nail file. Here is a perfume bottle. Um, Cody. I remember lots with that brand. Here is, oh, here's another Landvin. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. There's that. Here is another one. This one's pretty much empty, but what a cool bottle. Look at that lid. When that, when that gets clean, that's going to be nice. This was from the Bon Marche, $3. And I'll show the label here. That's made in Japan. That's a neat bottle. Ooh, this is another really neat bottle. Look at that top. Ooh. This was another Bon Marche, and there's a Made in Somewhere label on there. We've got another travel size perfume, beautiful bottle. Here is another one, Madame Roches. Here is a little packet of um, boot ends, ultra sheer, 100% nylon stretch. So you can carry a little packet of those little footies in here. I guess put that in your purse and then you can put that on your feet. Here's another bottle that looks like it goes with that other one. Let's see. Oh, here is a little plastic tray full of clips. And <laughs> oh, my goodness. I remember these. Oh, my. I remember those clips. <laughs> oh, and we've got little ones of these. Oh, my goodness. Here is a Jean Nate bath oil. This I oh can't quite read that. The lettering is really fancy on there, but pretty bottle. I'll get a better look at that. Here's a little coin purse. Check and see. Nothing on the inside. There is a label that says Roger. 
Roger Gimmel Accessories. Gimb. Gimber. It's right on the fold, of course, on the label. Here it is right on the fold. Let me see if I can unfold that. Gimbal. Here we have Dana Ambush by Dana. I'm running out of room, so I'll move over there. Here is a, hmm, put that up there. World of Beauty London. And then, oh, Max Factor. Here we go. Bath Oil Estee Lauder. Here is a beautiful little silverish. Um, oh, it's like a little frame with a picture in it. Not sure if that picture came with this or um, or if that was someone. I'll have to see if I can figure that out. And then there's a couple little bill folds. Let's see if they say anything on the inside. Nothing there. And then this one. Oh, this one is um, just a little. You've got a little pouch over here. And it doesn't look like there's a pouch on that side. Made in Ireland. And this does feel like it's leather. Well, that's odd. So there's just something on the one side. Okay, and so that is everything for there. Now, um, there's one more box. So it, it is like this little box in here. So I'm going to pop that, open that up, but there is nothing on the inside. It's just a very nice jewelry box and it does have a marking on the back here but i think that is the only label on there yeah i don't see any other label on that okay well i still need to um continue to unbox things so i am actually going to continue on to another boxing thing um, to which the first thing I have is, um, this, <laughs> my goodness. So here is the laundry scrubber and it says, what does that say? Crystal Cascade, Columbus, Ohio. This is glass. This whole thing is gl textured glass. And this is a big one. Look how big this is. Wow. I don't know as though I have really ever seen a glass one before. So yeah, that was a fun find. And then I'm going to bring, am I going to? There we go. So I don't remember what is in this lot, so it'll be just a fun surprise too. And ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness. So this is some kind of a metal tin that is enameled. Oh my goodness. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. That is an amazing piece. Oops, I'm going to remove that. Okay. Next up. Oh. <laughs> okay. We have got a really big pair of wooden shoes. How about that? <laughs> Now, it doesn't say that I can see made in Holland, but I can't imagine how they are anything but made in Holland. Oh, my goodness. Look at how big those are. <laughs> oh. Okay. And then this goes with that big one. Look at that. 
Now, it doesn't have any kind of a marking on the back, but wowzer, stunningly beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oh man, that also has a hook. Also, all of these have a hook for hanging. This one, oh, this has seahorses on it. Look at them. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. And this is brass. Wow. One more with some more. Um, oh, these are copper. So I have got a copper coffee pot. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? And this is, I'm not sure what kind of handle that is. I'll have to do some investigating on that. But look at this copper coffee pot. Then we have a copper um, wine coaster, and that does have some kind of a mark on the back there, so I'll have to do a little investigating on that. And then, oops, let's see here. This is one of the coolest finds, and this is a copper lamp. So here is the light bulb that they had going into, and here is the top. Yeah, the top is copper also. The base is copper. How cool is that? So I'm not even sure how that is going to go in there, but it goes in there, I guess. And then let's see what kind of a... See how old that plug is. Yep, that is a pretty darn old plug. <laughs> yeah, that is. But it's got good bones to it. I'll tell you that. This is so neat. Copper lamp. Copper coffee pot. Very cool. Um, so thank you for watching this video. This was a big, a big kind of unexpected mix of things. And again, if you are new and you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that thumbs up button before you leave. And uh, thanks for watching. And again, most of these items I will be working into my sales. Uh, so watch for these items in upcoming sales. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.